Okay, I'm gonna try this one again. <sighs> so are you sabotaging your own success? Self-sabotage is our mind's defense mechanism against disappointment. And so the subconscious mind is protecting us from that which we associate with pain. It can't actually tell the difference between the actual thing in front of us. If we feel any kind of discomfort, it sees it as threatening. And success is change. Success is different. So success is threatening. And the mind just goes, threat, stop, go back. So are you standing in your own way? Until we make the unconscious conscious, it's going to direct our lives. And we're gonna just think it's fate. We're just gonna think it's part of what we have to experience and what we have to suffer through. It's good to look for patterns, the negative patterns that are perhaps your brain, your mind self-sabotaging your progress. Things like procrastination, which I'm very guilty of, and distraction and avoiding emotions. All of that is creating all of this negative space in our subconscious and that negative energy has to go somewhere, right? It goes into the subconscious mind and then it's going to start manifesting the experiences that you have in your physical life. unchanged. This is just postponing happiness. We have to dive into change and fear, like doing this work to create this change that will bring you the life that you want. So I really like to strip it down to a few steps. So deciding what your core values are, what you want to stand for in this world, how you want to exist and how you want to be perceived in this world is a non-negotiable for me. Really deciding what you stand for and who you are. And then there's control. The control of your behavior, not just allowing your behavior and going, eh, that'll do. Taking control of your behavior because if it's not in alignment with your core values, then it needs to change because it's sabotaging you. And it's so easy to fall into patterns of certain behaviors because, again, the brain's just going, stop, now we're going to stay and stay in this safe space, even if it's just there. <laughs> and then there's our fear. You know, we're afraid of the unknown and things that are different are frightening. But when we hit fear head on, it's not going to break us we are going to break it and it actually just starts to dissolve around you and fade away because you go over one hurdle and you get through it you move through fear and that's where the good shit is on the other side of fear and then of course dealing with our unworthiness when you think you're not worthy of love and success and a good life, you will find ways to sabotage all the things that are leading you there. It's fucked up, right? <laughs> like, why would we sabotage our own happiness? That's just silly. <laughs> but we do. We do it every day. And the hardest part is recognizing that we're actually doing this. So if you can recognize it, that's the hardest step. It's the first step, that's the hardest step is just to recognize and understand that you're doing it. And now you have to take action. If you really, really want the things that you want, take action. Communicate with the subconscious mind. 
communicate with you, your values, the things you want to stand for, and take control. Make them real, not just on the outside, but from within, shining out of you. I won't keep going on, but um, I will quote the wonderful Brene Brown and leave you with this. There will be times that it will feel too hard, too scary, and you will doubt your ability to move through the uncertainty. Someone somewhere will say, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't have what it takes to survive the wilderness. And this is when you reach deep inside your beautiful wild heart and say, I am the wilderness. Sabotage, guys.